Hello everybody, this is Gary McGar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For the purposes of today's video, I'm going to bring you through all of the uses that prismatic shards have in the game. I'm also going to show you where you can pick up some handy prismatic shards as well, just so you can try some of these cool tips for yourself. So what I've done here now is I'm after building a really cool farm. I call it the prismatic rainbow farm. And I filled the farm up to the top with fish ponds. And the only thing that are in these fish ponds are rainbow trout. There's something like a 0.1% chance that a fully maxed out rainbow trout fish pond would produce a prismatic shard. As you can see here, you know, I, I, I get two here, which is extremely lucky. And it took me approximately 25 days of sleeping to actually get one of these fish ponds to give me a prismatic shard. That's how rare they are. So just so you know, if you're looking to passively farm prismatic shards, it's not worth it. it it's extremely rare. I built this farm just so you don't have to. <laughs> so I'm going to kickstart off the video with the first use for the prismatic shard, and that is that you can turn it into a galaxy sword. Now everyone that plays the game knows this. Uh, so that's I'm going to kickstart off the video with this one. But did you know that when you get the Galaxy Sword, you can go to the Adventurer's Guild and you can purchase the Galaxy Dagger or the Galaxy Hammer. So it unlocks the whole Galaxy series for you, which is really cool. I prefer the Hammer myself because of its secondary function. Now they are expensive, but they're definitely worth it. A handy dandy way you can get your hands on a prismatic shard is by going to Ginger Island. Once you get to the top of the volcano here, you get a free prismatic shard. And the reason why it gives you this is because the game wants you to try out the forge, which we'll touch on later on. Did you know that you can have babies in this game? What we call the baby we just had with Maru. Hmm. <laughs> I know what I'll call the baby. Grella the Kind. And I can't remember where I came across an NPC called Grella the Kind, but there was some game I was playing ages ago, and it's the only name I could come up with. But did you know you can use a prismatic shard in the Witch's Hut? to get rid of your child if you don't want it anymore. <laughs> I know it's very cruel, but you can do it. But here's the crazy bit. This isn't the end of it. If you do this, some scary things can happen in the game that can really freak you out, especially if you don't see it coming. So we just got rid of the child. We're going to speak to Maru here, and she seems perfectly fine with it. <laughs> but that's okay. So what's going to happen here now? <laughs> what's going to happen here now is... I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the 26th of fall, and this will work for everyone. Now this is the standard farm. I think it differs on each farm type. But if you have the standard farm, you're gonna get question marks here on the telly on the 26th of fall, and it says you've brought this upon yourself. Now I'm free, and it laughs, <laughs> and uh, a strange shot pops out of the telly. Now that's actually very scary if you don't see it coming, and that actually freaked me out the first time it happened a few years ago when I was playing the game but if you go back to the witch's hut after and if you go into the room with the statue there will be a very weird looking strange doll just floating in the air this doll will attack you if you enter its aggro range which I'll do so right now so it flies around like a bat and you can kill it and if you kill it you'll actually get kill counts towards the monster eradication goal for bats thing is that every time you enter this room the doll will reappear it's actually an effective way to farm bats uh, but it's very it's, it's quite freaky and this only happens once you once you use this this shrine of selfishness and give up your your poor little baby <laughs> so that is another use for the prismatic shard when it comes to kids in the game did you know you can use your prismatic shard and claw to make really cool prismatic clothing? And there's several clothing items you can make. For example, you can make a, a baggy pants, you can make a regular pants, you can make you can make multiple uh, shirts, different types of shirts. And what's really cool about these clothes is that they glow and they go through all the colors of the prismatic shard. So it adds a really nice aesthetic to the game when you're just walking around going about your daily business. You can also get a, a magic hat. Now you can't make the hats using prismatic shards. You can buy you can buy the hat and you can buy the turban using Omni Geodes from the Desert Trader, just so you know. But if you want the pants items and the and the, the chest items, you have to use the cloth with the prismatic shards to get those. As you can see, there's a lot of different types of shirts. There's a sleeveless shirt, 
there's a there's a sleeved shirt there as well and it's just a really cool aesthetic i haven't played the game for a very long time and i only found about i only found out about this uh, about a year and a half ago and i've played the game for years you know that you can make cool different types of prismatic clothes I suppose another use is if you go to the Desert Trader on Thursday, you can, it, you can trade in three prismatic shards for a magic rock candy. And this is the best consumable you can get in the game. It gives you huge stat increases to mining, speed, attack, and defense. And and obviously a huge boost to luck. <laughs> and I don't, I don't need to remind you at this stage the importance of luck in the game. <laughs> Another use for the prismatic shard is to enchant weapons and tools. So let's enchant our watering can here. And I'll just show you what we can get. So I don't have any cinder shards at the moment. So I actually have to go and farm some. So I'll be back in a second with cinder shards. <laughs> there we go. So let's enchant our watering can and see what we get. So we get an enchant called bottomless. This means the watering can never runs out of water. Now you can enchant the same tool over and over again if you don't like the enchant that you got. But each time it will uh, use up. A prismatic shard but enchants are game changers you know they make a lot of things in the game quite trivial next up um, I just said I'd put it in just for the sake of it you can give it to Gunther <laughs> now I obviously I'm, the only reason I'm putting this in is because I recommend that you only give it to Gunther if you've no other use for it you know but it is important you do give it to Gunther if you're going for perfectionist uh, another another handy dandy thing you can do with a prismatic shard is that you can gift it to people. Every single person in Stardew Valley loves a prismatic shard, except Haley, of course, which has to be the exception. So let's give Haley a prismatic shard and see what she says to the rarest mineral in the game. She's, she's just uh, she's very busy looking at her wardrobe there with a slime in her room. Gross. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I hate Haley so much. That's why I put a slime in her room. I thought I'd get a reaction out of her, but no. Another thing you can do with a prismatic shard is you can put it into a Junimo hut, and this will turn all the Junimos into prismatic Junimos. That means they'll change color, like your clothes. Look, don't change color at the moment, but I come back the next day, and if you look closely at the Junimos, they actually cycle through the colors of the rainbow. So we have cool prismatic Junimos, and they are collecting strawberries in style. <laughs> so that is another cool thing you can do with the prismatic shards. So there's quite a few things you can do in the game with the prismatic shards. When I first got the game, I thought that the only main use for it was to get the galaxy, the galaxy weapons, and obviously just give it to Gunther and that was it. But there's actually a mountain of stuff you can do in the game with them. So that is basically all of the uses that I have for you today for Prismatic Shards. If you can think of any additional uses, please leave a note in the comments um, for me to see. So I'm going to leave the video there, and I'm going to upload the next Stardew Valley video on Wednesday. So the trend continues, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And to my current subscribers, I just want to say thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to leave it here now and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.